Hey guys, welcome along. Today I'm going to be doing a product review here of the Eheim Gravel Vec Pro, which is designed to be a freshwater uh, siphonless vacuum for your gravel. However, I'm going to demonstrate how to use it here on a reef tank. Um, first of all, we'll go over the product itself. It's got a concave intake, which at the top of that's got a internal impeller, which sucks up detritus and gunk, dust and crap from your gravel bed and then pulls it out and puts it into this netted little chamber. The only person that I saw that had a decent review on this was um, the Inappropriate Reefer channel and he said that the frustrating thing about this or the one downside to this product is that dust and gunk can get out through the netting on the side of the chamber and get back into the tank and you'll see that later on. Um, he did say that you could use a, a bit of filter, filter wheel to uh, grab hold of the dust before it gets back out through that fine um, netting, but it is powered by four AA batteries and it's got a little on and off switch on the top there. Right, let's get stuck into how this uh, product works. So like any other siphon, you just jam it pretty much straight into the bed and turn it on. The cool thing about this product is you don't need to use a siphon for it. Uh, the water comes up through the impeller, through the basket, and then goes back into the aquarium. And you'll see immediately, it for four AA batteries, it's got some power, eh? It, it really grabs some some stuff, aerates your sand, um, pulls out um, detritus and brings it up into the basket. There you'll see the basket that's starting to fill up with gunk. And I'm just going to try and focus here and you'll be able to see what uh, an appropriate reef was saying that the little dust particles can get through that mesh and get out into the water column um, which can be removed by your um, your sump there with some mechanical filtration but if you can stop that doing it before it gets to that by putting in some filter well into that chamber then obviously that, that's better uh, and here you'll see those fine particles moving through the water which isn't harmful to fish um, and coral, but you know you don't really want that settling back on your nice gravel, uh, siphon gravel weed. Uh, now we'll just quickly show you what it looks like um, once you've siphoned it out, and you can see there's a lot, a lot of gunk. Uh, the final thing I need to bring out is the concave design that Eheim have. They've really put some thought into this, into the nozzle, and you can get into some nice tight to you know, tight fitting spaces as opposed to a regular gravel siphon uh, which is usually round uh, which and it can be like a little bit large and a bit clunky uh, so that's another positive that Eheim have done um, in their design phase. We'll just quickly go over now in better light um, you'll you'll see the detritus and, and gunk that it's pulled from the tank which is quite significant it's pretty good for a you know, a little um, battery powered device. Cleaning, oh, super, super simple. I'm obviously using one hand here with one on the camera and you'll you'll see how easy it is. All you need to do is just quickly flick off the top there and then turn on your your tap. Obviously, you you wanna keep your wife happy and use the, the sink uh, and you literally just fill it up with water um, and watch it all go down the drain. You're gonna lose a little bit of gravel, so you're gonna to have to bear that in mind, um, but you know, even if you're using a regular siphon, you'd still have the same issue with gravel going out. So um, yeah, within a matter of 10 to 20 seconds, all that detritus and stuff's gone down the drain, so it's good to get that out of the tank. The final step, um, and this isn't something that needs to be done every time, but it's good to get that impeller cleaned up, um, and that just helps uh, keep the product in, in good good shape um, and obviously will you know stop it from gunk gunking out and, and, and getting a bit clunky down the track so again you literally just pull out the the impeller um, which is magnetic and yeah give it a good little hose out so that's pretty much how the product works in a nutshell um, I'm actually super super impressed with it uh, if you don't have like a goby, which I currently don't have, um, my one died not too long ago when an ammonia spike. So um, while waiting for my new one, this is really, really good at aerating the gravel and um, pulling out the detritus because 
I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I like my tank to have nice white pearly sand so really really cool the other good thing about it is that you don't need a siphon you literally just turn it on turn it off uh, and the water just gets filtered out and gets put into the tank the downside obviously being that the basket that it comes with is not quite fine enough and those bits of sand can and dust and whatnot can get back into the tank which you don't want settling on on the sand bed or on the rocks so but as i said inappropriate reef had a little good little hack you can just literally fill it up with filter wool uh, jam that into the chamber and easy as for cleaning just pull it out and throw it in the in the bin and then give it a rinse so i'd definitely buy it um really really good product um yeah something to have in your little toolkit thanks for tuning in i hope that this was somewhat informative for you